Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. If you're one of those people that has long awaited the arrival of sidecar capabilities with Microsoft Teams certified IP phones, your wait is over. That day is finally here. The Audio Code C450 HD, a certified for Teams IP phone that has been on the market for quite some time, now has an expansion unit available, and we are gonna take a look at how to get this thing connected to your C450 HD, and then how to start using it. Let's dig in. Right here in the center of the screen is the C450 HD. This phone has been on the market for quite some time. This is kind of the executive level phone for Microsoft Teams from Audio Codes, has the larger touchscreen up top. And now we have the expanded capabilities of having the additional contacts all set up on this expansion unit that will connect right to the side of our phone right here. We're gonna go ahead and get that all set up in just a moment. When you get the expansion unit, it of course comes with the expansion unit. It comes with the prop for the back of the expansion unit so that we have support behind it as well as support behind the phone. We've got some additional screws that'll be needed to connect all the pieces where they need to go. And then finally, we've got an installation guide, which actually is a pretty nice installation guide. It comes with all these pictures and shows you you need a screwdriver, really walks through the process. See, this is kind of the end result in the back end where we've got both supports in there. So we're gonna step through that now, get this all set up. You will need that screwdriver, so go ahead and make sure you grab that. Let's get to setting it up. Okay, to begin with, we want these side by side. Now, this is going to connect to this side of the C450 HD because we've got it upside down, okay? We're, we're using a pad here to protect the device from getting scratched on the table. But uh, what we're gonna do is first remove these three screws over here. You'll notice I've already removed the uh, prop on the back, the stand, and we removed the, we removed the handset as well so that it wasn't uh, falling all over the place and getting in our way. So let's get those three screws removed. Now, at this point, we've got the screws removed, we've placed them off to the side, we can remove this component, which will expose the side of the C450 HD. Bringing that around, we see that we've got all these connection points in here. And if you look at the side of the expansion unit, you will notice that these match up. The side of the expansion unit has this little rubber piece that is protecting the connection point. So we'll remove that. That is gonna slide right into the edge of the C450 HD, and uh, as, as will these screw points as well, and then we'll get everything screwed back together. Okay, with both devices upright again, we can see this is gonna slide together just like this. Uh, everything lines up as it needs to be in here. So as we just carefully line it up, we don't wanna jam anything or push anything too hard. We line it up, and it slides right in. Everything good there, awesome. Now we will flip this back on its face and get it all screwed back together. Before we start returning our screws to the three spots that we removed them before, which will now connect the two devices and keep them in place, we need to take the piece that we removed from the edge of the C450 HD and it will slide right back on here so that this side is now uh, closed up and looks nice and complete like the rest of the edge of the device. Three screws get returned here, and the five screws that came with the expansion unit get put into here to keep the device in place. With our three screws reconnected here and our five screws in the middle, this is all held together. It's not going anywhere. 
to flip this thing back over and have it standing up on its own two legs again, if you will, we will go ahead and take the stand that we took off from uh, the C450 in the first place, line it up in the slots, get it in place. We'll take the stand that comes with the sidecar, make sure we have it the same way. One side gets you laying a little bit flatter than the other, and we're gonna get them both at the same height. There we go. Flipping the device around, we want to get our handset reconnected. So we'll plug that back in, get the cord routed out the side, flipped into those little grooves. Perfect. And All right, with that, we are able to set this back up, return our handset to the receiver, and we have our C450HD with the sidecar all set up on the side. It is nice and sturdy and solid, and we are ready to plug this thing in and configure some contacts. All right, and now we get the device powered on after getting the sidecar, the expansion unit plugged in. You'll see it go through, through the power-up modes. We get uh, similar screen showing up on both sides eventually here. All right, we see our expansion unit coming to life on the side. The Microsoft Teams app is loading on our main screen. We have the audio codes logo holding the screen on our expansion unit on the right. Okay, the C450 HD finished booting up. The Microsoft Teams application has loaded. We see the main home screen right here on the C450 HD uh, base unit. And then our expansion module over here has a couple different contacts right up top. They are contacts that are in my favorites group and that is why they show up on the right hand module already. Taking a look at our expansion unit or otherwise known as a sidecar, we can see I've only got two of my contacts added into this list so far. To add other people in, we'll simply come back over to the main screen, we'll click on people, and we will go down and we're gonna find a contact called Minion. We'll click on Minion and click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner. We're gonna say add to group and we're gonna choose speed dial. And once we add Minion to speed dial, we come back over here and boom, Minion gets added into our list. Now we can one click and it attempts to start calling Minion. Minion is not logged in, so it's gonna go to voicemail. And that is adding in contacts to your sidecar. As you can see, it just uses the speed dial group. So you can do this from a laptop as well by managing your speed dial group on your Microsoft Teams app. And there you go. That is the expansion module installation and use with the audio codes C450 HDIP phone, a certified from Microsoft Teams device. Again, in this video, we went over the actual process of installing this expansion module, as well as how to add contacts to our speed dial and access them initiating a call right there from that handy, handy one-touch join or one-touch call experience. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to splash it all around social media. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are not already. There is a very handy link at the very bottom of the video. Uh, just subscribe there and turn on notifications. And I hope we'll see you back here for the next product overview video. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.